What's up guys, John here, and today I'm going to tell you about five import shoot 'em ups that you're probably going to want to have in your collection. And guys, remember, if you like the video, then like the video, and remember to subscribe to the channel. Now let's check it out. I can't see shit! I can't see shit! Oh my god! Okay guys, at number five, we have X2 for the PlayStation 1. Okay guys, so the intro of this game, it kind of reminds me of Knight Rider, but uh, in all seriousness, if any of you guys like full motion video or any of that really cheesy full motion video from the 90s or, you know, kind of like Road Rash, it kind of has that vibe to it in the very beginning of the game. Um, you know, for a lot of you younger gamers, that might turn some of you guys off, but for me, I'm 35 and I love that shit. So I can really appreciate it in a lot of newer games that do it and a lot of the older games as well. Um, now with that said, this game kind of starts off kind of dark and it kind of gives you like that Terminator, like I said, that kind of Knight Rider vibe. But luckily for you guys, the gameplay is much, much different. So in this game, if you're a big fan of R-Type Delta, you're right at home with X2. Um, one interesting thing about this game is that all the, the voice acting is completely in English. Um, most of the menu system is in English as well, so I don't know why they didn't release X2 over here in the United States. But luckily, if you can find it online, I actually bought this copy on eBay maybe a couple of years ago. But from what I remember, it was uh, pretty cheap. So basically, X2 is a very beautiful, very colorful game. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. It's got a bit of a difficulty spike. So, guys, honestly, if you can find this game for a great deal, you know, pick it up. And coming in at number four, we have Glaylancer for the Mega Drive or the Sega Genesis. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I love shooters from the Sega Genesis era. I love the pixelization. I love the voice acting. I love when I'm in one of those little spaceships and I'm collecting power-ups. I hear power up, power up, power up. I love that. I could hear power up a million times and I get pumped up every time that I hear it. So obviously I'm a huge fan of the intro of this game, it's really colorful. Now if you can output your Sega Genesis through RGB to an RGB SCART HDMI converter, that's the way to go. And what you probably really want to do with this game is get an emulator or you know, you know some kind of cartridge with the ROM on it. Um, this is one of those games that's extremely expensive, okay? So, I mean, if you want to go ahead and emulate this game, I mean, go ahead. I'm not going to tell on you. Um, but I'm just letting you know now, this is a great game. It is very rare, and it is very expensive for the Sega Genesis. Um, you know, you can go on eBay or online. You'll find copies of it. You know, do whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm just letting you know, know now that this is a great game. I really love this game. And I love the power-up system with this game. Um, so you have your main weapon and you have your sub-weapon. And your sub-weapon kind of rotates around your ship in whatever direction you're pointing your control pad. Or the opposite of the direction that you're pointing your control pad. Um, you know, once you start get, you know, getting this game and playing it and whatever, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, so, especially with this game, if you can find this game an excellent deal, even if you don't like shooters, please pick this game up because when you run into that guy that is a huge shmup fan, when he sees what you have, trust me, he's going to want it. So I'm telling you now, if you see this game, buy it. Coming in at number three, we have Thunder Force 6 for the PlayStation 2. So I got to say that I'm a huge Working Designs fan. And when Working Designs brought Thunder Force 5 over to the United States for the PlayStation 1, I loved it. I thought it was a great game. Um, it's actually one of those games for the PlayStation 1. It's one of those kind of pricey shooters nowadays. But for all you guys that thought that they ended at Thunder Force 5, you're wrong. There's a Thunder Force 6. And it was only released in Japan. It's for the PlayStation 2. Now, don't worry. This game's not that expensive. I, I probably paid 20 bucks for this game. Uh, maybe about a year ago. I actually got it, you know, quite recently. Um, but guys, this game is beautiful. It totally utilizes all the extra, um, all the graphics and all the extra, you know, stuff that the PlayStation 2 can do. 
Um, it's definitely kind of a leap forward from the 16-bit and 32-bit uh, shoot 'em ups. Um, you know, this game, from what I remember, it's been a little while since I played it. I just remember liking it so much. Um, there's pretty much three basic attacks that you you kind of get from the beginning of the game, and you can kind of rotate through the three attacks and use which one kind of helps you maneuver through your areas. And um, you can power those uh, power those attacks up and let loose this like mega attack. Um, this is a great game, you guys. If you can find it online or if you have a retro game store near you that sells imports, pick this one up, guys. Trust me, for the money, you do not want to miss this. Thunder Force 6 for the PlayStation 2. And at number two, we have Hyper Duel for the Sega Saturn. Oh my God, guys. I mean, honestly, I should have made this my number one pick. Guys, this is the best shooter I have played in the last 10 years. And it's a really simple premise. You can choose between three different fighters. Each fighter has two different attacks. You have a mech attack, and then you have like your regular attack. Um, now, this game, when you do your regular attack, if you hold down your mech attack button, which is A, so if you hold down A and then hit B, you can do like a special, and you have a special meter where you only have a certain amount of time you can do that special, and the same goes for your mech attack. You hold down B and then hit A, and then you do your special. So you have two different attacks, each have their own special, so it's really a combination of four different moves you can do. Sounds kind of complicated, but that's just how the game works. But it is awesome. I believe this game has seven levels. I beat it the first time I played through it. The first time you play through it, play through on easy. That way you can beat it real quick. And then you can unlock free play after you beat it the first time. And then after that, you can kind of experiment. You can throw it on hard, die a million times, respawn. This game, this is the best shooter. I'm telling you guys, I have played in a very 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 long time now with that being said this is one of those very expensive games so if you have to use an emulator it's okay I'm not gonna tell on you and my number one pick is kinda cheating um, I actually chose it's a Korean version of Astabreed it's the first version that I got um, it actually comes with a soundtrack it's uh, it's pretty cool it's in an interesting jewel case but then later on we got the North American release for the PlayStation 4 I think Limited Run Games put it out, but uh, either way, Astro Breed is an awesome game. So, funny story about this game, I actually bought the Korean version of Astro Breed a few years ago, um, and it's actually for a Windows XP. Now, I tried to play it on my computer, and I don't have a Windows XP computer right now, and there's probably a way to make it work, and I just remember getting frustrated with the game and just throwing it on the shelf. And then a few years later, I saw something online about Limited Run Games putting out Astro Breed for the PlayStation 4. And I was like, where in the hell do I remember that game from? And then it hit me. I said, oh my God, this is that awesome shooter that I saw that I had the Korean version of. So when I saw it was being released for Limited Run Games, I was super excited. I could not wait to get it. And guys, this is a beautiful game, okay? This is probably one of my favorite shooters on the PlayStation 4, and it's my number one pick because I thought I'd never get to play this game. I thought this is one of those weird imports that was just gonna be out on one system and never released for anything else, and then it was released on PlayStation 4, and I was super, super excited. I, I, I ordered it, got it when it was released, it came in the mail, and I, oh my God, I, I beat it in like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's a quick game. Um, but it's a very good game. Now you have your regular basic attack, which looks awesome on the screen. Then you have a way, like these heat sinking attacks where you can kind of like target your enemies and, and hit them. And then you have your melee attack, which is like a sword that you can swing for close range combat. And then you have a dash function in this game. So you can sit at the back of the screen, wait for your enemies to appear in four different corners of the screen, use your dash, hit them with the melee attack, and then go back to whatever it is you're doing. This game is awesome. I really hope they make a longer sequel to this game. Um, you know, I don't know if this game is involved with some kind of manga or anime or anything like that. It seems like it would be. But, man, this is a good, 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 good shooter. Um, you know, go get Astro Breed. Get it now, guys, before the price goes up on this game. This is like a $40 PlayStation 4 game, but... I just feel like in a few years, this is going to be one of those games that's going to be super hard to get, really expensive, and I'm really glad that I own a copy. 
So guys, pick it up. Ask to breed for the PlayStation 4. This is a must own if you're a shoot em up fan on the system. All right guys, so those are just five games that if you're a huge shoot em up fan like me, you might want to try out. And just remember, some of these games are kind of pricey, so you might have to find other means of playing them. Well guys, if you liked the video, then like the video and remember to subscribe to the channel. Till next time guys, peace out. Thank you.